Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Ivy Vice. So let's get started. We're going to see your settings. Inside your settings, your second option should say software update. If you don't see that, don't worry about it. We're going to get through it. Anyways, up here, you're going to see your name or your device's name. Just tap on it and make a backup using iCloud. It's very important. Also, if you have any problems with this update, just hook it up to your computer and then make the update through there. You can also do that for your backup. So if you have PC, you can use iTunes. If you have Mac, you can use Finder for that. Anyways, you're going to scroll down if you don't see this option about software update and just scroll down until you see in general. Under general, your second option will say software update. This will refresh. Again, if you're not seeing anything here, you can just go into automatic updates, turn it on and off. Also restart your device. That should help out if you don't see this. But anyways, once you do, Tap on download and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. From there, you can just leave your device. Um, right here, you can use your data or not. I'm going to put don't. I usually do put yes, use my data since I'm unlimited. But if you guys don't have unlimited, just put no. And then it's just going to use your Wi-Fi. So right now, what it's going to do, it's download the update. Once it's done downloading, it's just going to restart by itself, install the update, and then you're done. It's a really small update, so it's not a huge deal. Now, if you're watching this and you're wondering how to do this on iPad, it's actually the exact same instructions. iOS 16 already came out for iPad, so you're good to go. You can download this and install it on your device. I always recommend having 50% of your battery or more, but even then, even if you're 100% hook it up to some electricity so that way it's charging while you're doing this update. And that's because your battery might not be like it was when it was brand new. You don't want it to die on you when you're making this update. And that's because it can create a glitch and then you're going to have to restore it. But hey, that's why I told you guys to make a backup just in case something goes wrong. We're good to go. We can just restore everything back into our phone. would also like to mention that only compatible devices can be updated to iOS 16. If your device is not compatible, I'm sorry, you can't. Not even if you jailbreak it or if you run through a bunch of websites that don't actually work. All right, after the download is done, it's gonna request the update. So don't worry if it takes a few minutes. After that, you should see something like this, preparing update. A few minutes after, you should see something like so. Install now, just tap on install now. It's gonna verify the update. We're gonna see an Apple logo and a loading bar. All right, as mentioned, we would see an Apple logo and a loading bar. And after that, it's just gonna restart and we're gonna see this. Just swipe up, putting a passcode if you have one, and you are all done. You can double check by going to settings, inside your settings. Once again, general, soft update, and we are all up to date. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.